Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a new uh, video for you today that'll show you how to add a new list in MailChimp. So just before I get into it, if you've not uh, used MailChimp before, if you want access to a free trial version for any reason, luckily for you, there's a link in the description down below that'll allow you to do so. So if you just give that link a click, then that'll take you through to your very own trial version of MailChimp. So very simply, once you're on the dashboard, um, if you go to the audience drop down on the left hand side and then go to your audience dashboard, if you've not added a list of people yet or an audience as it's referred to in MailChimp, then that will prompt you there with a button in the top right hand corner to create that audience. Uh, so you can give it a name, I'm just going to call it test for today's um, example. And then this is the address that people will reply to you at when they get a you know, contact from you. So make sure that you, that's your address. Um, I'm just going to put my site in there. And then the next one is the from name. So that's the who your emails are going to come from. So obviously, I'm going to just put a test in there and then um, remind people how they signed up to your audience. So, you know, it's um, customary and mandatory that people grant you permission that they are assigned to your list of people or into your audience, as it's called. And um, you'll need to remind them there of how that they came across your your website or your content or whatever it is. Um, so once you've done that, then apologies, it skipped back there for some reason. So um, just give that a fill. And then once you've done that, you can um, enable double opt-in if that's something that you need. So that'll allow uh, contacts as an opt-in confirmation when they subscribe to your audience. So, you know, so they'll kind of doubly confirm that they do that. Um, that's uh, recommended that you do that, you know, that'll help avoid their um, spam filters. Once you're happy with all the, um, you know, notifications, how you've got them set up, you can just hit save and that will create your audience or your new list. Um, well, that's um, not going to let me process it until I put something there. So if I hit save again, that should allow me to get through. Obviously, spend a little bit more time developing that and uh, as I did there. Now, what you'll notice now is that because I'm on the free trial version, that I can only add one audience. So... Um, you know, that I haven't got the capability to add another. And if I wanted to do so, then I'd need to subscribe to the monthly subscription. Um, so that's the kind of one of the restrictions of the, the free version of MailChimp is that you won't be able to add more than one list of people. Um, so that, you know, if that's enough for you, then fine. But if you need more, then you'll need to do so um, through the payment method, then, you know. Um, so yeah, that concludes the tutorial for today. So like I said, there's a link to MailChimp down below in the description if you want to try that out for free. And before I end the video, I'd like to mention that I've got a link in the description below for a software that can rank your website instantly by using videos. So this might be very interesting to the viewer who's looking for more traffic and sales to their website. So make sure to check it out if you think that's something that you need as well. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can leave them as comments down below as well. Thank you very much.